<laughs> number 16, Washington State host number 5, USC tonight. Watch out. Everybody's been making a huge deal this year about USC Sam Darnold TV games, but Washington State quarterback Luke Falk, you're going to meet him tonight. He's off to a, an incredible start and a coach that likes to sling it. He tops the USC star in every major statistical category, although it's against weaker schedules. All right, what off? Oh, is Falk actually having a more impressive year than Sam Darnold? On paper, yes. Listen, I grew up with Mike Leach in the Big 12. Every Mike Leach quarterback puts right. up big numbers. I could put up big numbers for Mike Leach. So I got to see it against SC before I'm ready to hop on the bandwagon. I, I will say this. Uh, USC has, this will be the fifth straight team they've played mm -hmm. that is a bowl-level team. Uh, so that's just more impressive. I mean, we know the way college football works. Even Alabama, they play Mercer three times. They get a bye before LSU. USC didn't have a bye this year. This is a tough and by the way, they play different styles. Right. Stanford's power, Wazoo's flag football. So I think Darnold's ability against different styles has been really impressive. So I'd give the nod early to Darnold. I think this is a big, well, this is a big statement game for both teams, but also both quarterbacks because yeah. it's it's national stage. Everyone wants to see what Luke Falk can do. Everyone wants to see if Sam Darnold can play better, this team can play better. I think when you compare the two, Jason, like you said, I mean, we could have this talk with Luke Falk every year. I mean, he's had 38 touchdowns each of the last two years. The guy's breaking every record at Washington State. He's an NFL guy. I think yes. he's a good player. He's not just a system quarterback. I think he can be successful at the next level. But, again, the competition this year has not been great. Boise State's been probably their best opponent, and he didn't have a great game. Zero touchdowns, one pick. Um, and, and for Sam Darnold, the, the thing that just makes Sam Darnold different than any quarterback in college football, maybe, maybe not Baker Mayfield, but he's got that it factor. He's got the ability, even in a game where he's struggling, like against Texas. I mean, which quarterback do you want leading him in the fourth quarter? Who's going to win a game for you? It was Deshaun Watson last year. I think it's Sam Darnold this year. And that's what separates these two quarterbacks. But again, we'll find out in this football game. And Luke Falk's got a great opportunity. Yeah, he does. Uh, biggest stage on ESPN, you know, prime time. Are they a team that is capable of being physical enough against a USC football team who has played Teams like Texas uh, Stanford. and Stanford and things like that. The difference between the two quarterbacks for me is, is simply the system. I think mm -hmm. that all those, those stats are inflated. I think he's probably the best Mike Leach quarterback to come around. But as we saw in the Boise State game a few weeks ago, he was willing to bench him, right. put in the backup quarterback, because he knew that a quarterback coached by Mike Leach is capable of executing that offense. And in that offense, you want to be able to just let it fly. And if you're thinking too much... He has, the, he has the confidence to pull somebody out and put somebody else in to, to play. This is a team team system against USC tonight. Darnold's not in a system. Darnold is the system. Like, when you watch USC, I mean, there are a lot of people. I'm not sure. Lynn Swan, the athletic director, right. may be one of these. Is Clay Helton a great coach, or is Darnold just masking flaws? Whereas, I think with Mike Leach, it's been established. Offensively, he's, yep. yeah. you know, light bulbs, creative. So, it, they're, they're, these are really different types of players. I want to ask both of you USC homers. You played there. He's just, <laughs> he's just, he's just a booster. Yeah, he's, he's just a booster. Yeah. Uh, seriously, what would you rather have against USC? A great system or a great talent at a couple of positions in order to pull the upset? Is that system more dangerous than, than if Luke Falk was some lights-out quarterback? Um... I, I think when it comes to Mike Leach, the system is dangerous. The only thing with this system is they don't run the football at all, especially this year. And when you play a team like – I think, you know, to answer your question, I would, I would take a really, really talented quarterback who is very difficult to stop and can do a lot of different things. Uh, Deshaun Watson, Darnold, Baker Mayfield, Vince Young. Vince Young, guys like that where sometimes they just transcend the system. I thought Patrick Mahomes, we're getting off topic, but I yep. thought he transcended the air raid system because right. he was such a great athlete. Like he was different than a lot of Kingsbury Leach quarterbacks. He's yeah. been the, the, the most different one in my opinion. Um, and, and, and again, with this system, you can't run the football in the way USC's playing defensively. When you're one-dimensional, it's tough to beat really good teams, I think. Generally, teams go to systems like Washington State or Oregon, Chip Kelly, to, to compensate for yeah, average right. players. Of course. USC generally wins these games. This is not the first system they've faced. Um, Vince Young was the system. You know, like he left Texas, wasn't the same. USC is a bigger, stronger team with more talented people. Now, they're all banged up tonight. But I think if you look at college football, the people that change it, T 
Tebow, Johnny Manziel, Darnold, they're, they're beyond a system. They're, they're even in a system, they become the system. Right. Hey, very quickly, Ryan, for those of us that'll be getting our really, my, this will be my first look at Luke Falk. What does he do well? What's the size? What, what are his strengths? He's big, he's strong, he can throw the football, he's accurate. 76% completion yeah. percentage yeah, this year. I mean, so th three out of four passes he's completing are, are, are completed. Um, I think that for everybody else who else is watching tonight, this offense goes backwards the whole game. And what I mean by saying that is they, they drop back in pass cover or they drop back in pass protection. The quarterback's always going backwards. What happens when the third quarter, the fourth quarter comes and it's third and one, fourth and one, and you ask those men to go forward? You know, make a push, run the ball for one yard. That's where they've lost the last few years against physical football teams. So that's going to be the test tonight for me. Any chance of an upset, Kyle? I, I think USC's beat up. And I talked to a coach this week. He's, he, th he thought Cal could beat USC. He goes, God, Western Michigan <laughs> is a 13-win team. They're physical. All they do is right. run. He goes, Stanford, Texas. He, and then he goes, Cal, the coach I talked to, is like, you know, Cal is good. They would yeah, beat Ole Miss. You know, I think my feeling is that USC is missing their left tackle, their tight end, their best pass rusher, one of their running backs, and this is the biggest game. These, these Thursday, Friday night games on the road, this will be tough. If USC can win, I looked at her schedule. I'm like, this is this is this is the one. By the way, when the season started, this is the one USC people oh, circled. Yeah. This is the not Texas. Game. This was the game. I'm not I'm not into trends, but Washington State lost 13 straight at home against ranked opponents. So they have, when these teams come into town, they haven't had found a way to win these games. When they're good enough, when they are ranked. When Washington State is ranked and are good enough to compete against the great ones, they find ways to win. Uh, last time USC came in, when Washington State was ranked, 2002, Carson Palmer, Matt, I believe you were a freshman. I was, yeah. Yeah, and Washington State found a way to win in overtime with the field goal. So uh, anything can happen on the Palouse, especially at night. S uh, stadium sold out. Standing room only tickets sold out. They're going to be going crazy. One of my favorite places to play was Washington State. Why? I just, if, I mean, not an insult. I felt like a high school stadium at the time because it was it smaller. Yeah. But they were right on top of you. And there's something when you're going through the streets of Bowman, you're staying in Moscow, Idaho, where we stayed. It was a fun place to play. We played in the hail. We played in like a snow game up there. It was cool. They call it in the Pac-12. They call